Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on EMC consideration. Our topic for discussion is on shielding effectiveness. Earlier on, we have discussed that shielding effectiveness is actually depend on three factors. Number one, absorption. Number two, reflection. And number three, multiple reflection. For today, we are going to concentrate on absorption. If this will be the part 22 series discussion. The earlier on discussion on EMC, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you're keen to know more about EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I also like to urge you guys to help this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys. Let's quickly do a revisit what is absorption loss. The absorption loss A express the energy dissipate that occur when a fuel propagate through a conductor. This is an incident wave. It actually want to penetrate through the conductor. And in result, E1 is the magnitude of the wave that managed to successfully penetrate through the shield. Okay, as the field propagate through the shield of thickness T, normally in centimeter, okay, it is antenna exponentially. The peak strength of the field existing the shield E1 is given by this equation. Okay, so from this expression, you can see that E1 is actually reduced exponentially with respect to the incident wave. So another diagram here. So this is thickness. Okay, you can see from here, the thicker the shoe, okay, the lesser the E1 in result. So this is the understanding what is absorption loss. So we actually control the thickness. Besides thickness, there are also some other parameters. So let's quickly understand them. Okay, the constant of antenation, okay, which is also known as skin depth. Okay, so this skin depth actually depends on three things. Number one, conductivity. Number two, permeability. And also the frequency. Okay, how we can calculate the skin depth is actually on the equation here. The equation on the left is actually for calculation in meter. The equation that is on the right is for the calculation for inch. Regardless, anyone, you will actually have the same outcome, okay, I, which I will use an example to illustrate. Okay, the absorption loss through a shield can now be written as this format here. So this A is denoted as absorption loss. 8.69 is a constant. This T is the thickness of the shield. This is the skin depth, which you have calculated using this formula. And you actually plug the skin depth number inside here. Okay, in result to get the absorption loss. Okay, thicker shield actually provide more antenation at 8.69 dB per skin depth. Okay, let's quickly do an example. Calculate the absorption loss for a blast and also a stainless steel with a thickness of 0 0.062 inch at frequency of 10 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz. Okay, so firstly, what we do is we convert the thickness from inch to centimeter. Okay, so for blast, the material characteristic is shown over here. And we can quickly calculate the skin depth by using the equation here. So this W is equal to 2 pi F. The first one, the frequency is at 10 kilohertz. So you can see from here, this is 10 kilohertz. This is mu naught, mu R, conductivity naught and conductivity are here. So you punch the calculator, you should be able to get this 0 0.129 centimeter. Next, we also quickly calculate under the frequency of 100 kilohertz. So everything is intact, except we change the frequency to 100 kilohertz, which result of skin depth of 0 0.0406 centimeter. Okay, with this skin depth, we actually can start to calculate the absorption loss. Okay, so this is a formula for absorption loss. Remember this, 
if the thickness of the shield is in centimeter, okay, the skin depth must be also in centimeter. Okay, so therefore this 0 0.1575 is in centimeter. The skin depth is also in centimeter. So we can actually compute the absorption loss of having 10.6 dB at the frequency of 10 kilohertz. We can also calculate the absorption loss at 100 kilohertz. Okay, the absorption loss is 33.7 dB. Okay, so what can we conclude from this calculation? Okay, we can conclude that higher frequency actually has a higher absorption loss, which means that they has a better shielding effectiveness. Let's quickly understand what is skin depth. Okay, so this is actually what happened when electromagnetic wave hit the shield. The diagram on your left is at a frequency of 10 kilohertz. If you still recall, they have a skin depth of 0 0.129 centimeter. As for the diagram on the right, they actually hit at a frequency of 100 kilohertz and has a skin depth of 0 0.0406 centimeter. So being a higher skin depth, okay, which means that they successfully penetrate deeper into the shoe. So what does this result? Okay, this result, a higher possibility that the field actually managed to penetrate through the shield, okay, which means that this E1 most likely is a larger number as compared to a higher frequency. Because with higher frequency, the skin depth is much, much smaller, and hence we have lesser electromagnetic wave managed to penetrate through the shield. In short, the higher the skin depth, the higher the chances that the electromagnetic wave able to penetrate successfully the shield. Okay, so let's quickly finish the example. Okay, we have done the blast. So let's quickly do the stainless steel. Again, we're going to do on two conditions, one under 10 kilohertz and also under 100 kilohertz. Okay, the information for stainless steel is shown over here. Okay, we can quickly calculate the skin depth. Okay, I don't think I need to describe this further. So we punch the calculator, we can obtain the skin depth of 0 0.0208 centimeter at a frequency of 10 kilohertz. Okay, again, we need to work out for frequency at 100 kilohertz. So we actually obtain that the skin depth of 0 0.0066 centimeter. With this, we also able to calculate the absorption loss. Okay, so this is 65.8 dB at 10 kilohertz. We also compute the absorption loss at 100 kilohertz, which is 207.3 dB. Another conclusion we arrive, okay, stainless steel has a better absorption loss as compared to blast because at frequency of 100 kilohertz for blast is only about 30 dB, but for stainless steel, the absorption loss is 207.3 dB. So this is what we conclude, the higher okay, the mu R and conductivity R, okay, the better it is to compare against electromagnetic wave to penetrate through the shield. In short, how can we improve the absorption loss? Okay, from this equation here, you can see that if we are able to increase the thickness of the shield, we also increase the absorption loss. Another example here, okay, if we can choose a material with a higher mu R and conductivity R, we actually reduce the skin depth. Okay, in result, we actually has a higher absorption loss. High frequency okay, also has a better absorption loss. Okay, with this, I'd like to end our discussion. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.